In this video we talk about the Flutter and Dart releases of Calendar Week 43. Among them are a new testing framework for those who are tired of traditional testing, the unofficial API client for PubDev helping you to get any package information, a new widget that turns special text contents into clickable links and eight more packages that we go through in quick succession. Welcome to SyntechOps, my name is Jay and this channel is all about programming. If this sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and now let's get started. If you are looking for a more fancy switch that looks like this, then check out the package text switch. This one provides you with a customizable text switch widget. Are you looking for an easier way to sort your lists of complex objects? Then check out the package Sorted. Make your text moving with this shimmer effect by using the package Flutter Shimmer widget. With Flutter menu you can create top menus, master detail panes and context menus with keyboard shortcuts, developed for the web and functional for desktop as well. To interact with the Espose Words Cloud APIs, you can now use the package Espose Words Cloud. Generating thumbnails from a video URL can be achieved with Video Thumbnail Generator. With the package Binder, we have another state management solution, which helps you to bind your application state with your business logic. Mocking and testing your Firebase Cloud Functions can now be achieved with the package Firebase Cloud Functions Mock. On number 3 is GLaDOS or GLaDOS, a property-based testing framework. Whereas traditional testing uses concrete inputs and tests whether they result in the desired output, in property-based testing you are defining certain conditions that are always true for any inputs and those are called invariants. Benefits are writing fewer tests, you are testing for almost all possible inputs, you get a concise error report and you understand the problem domain better by thinking of invariants. Let's have a quick look on how to set this up. First of all you have to add those lines to the dev dependencies. Instead of using the traditional test method you are using the GLaDOS class and specify the input type and then you can call the test method which comes with the package. You can use multiple inputs and instead of using type parameters you can customize inputs by using the any keyword. There is also a GLaDOS annotation to test your own data classes and therefore you have to run the pub run build runner command. And there's probably a lot more that I could cover about this package, but that is too much for this video. So if you're interested in this one, then check out the documentation. If you have been using this package by yourself, then please tell me about your experience in the comments below and tell me how this package improved your testing. And here we have a package that I might be using for future videos. And this one is the number two of the most liked packages and is called Pub API Client. With the help of this package, you can get any information about any package from pub.dev. To set this up, you have to instantiate the pub client class and then you can use different methods in order to get different kind of information. For example, if you want to get all the information about a specific package, then you can use the package info method and to get specific information, you can for example use the package score method in order to get the score. So here we have a short code example. Inside of the init state method, we're instantiating the pub client class and we are initializing some variables and we have this text editing controller which will be used here in order to specify the package that we want to fetch. By clicking this get package button we are calling this get package method and here we are using the pub client instance in order to fetch the package and then the text field gets cleared and we 
replace the text widgets contents here with the contents that we received from pubdev. So let's test it. I type provider and then I click on get package. And as you can see, we get the results that we wanted. And here's the number one of the most liked packages of calendar week 43, hash at links detector. This package provides you with a custom smart text widget that can detect special characters like this at hashtag or this URL and those will be turned into clickable links. This is pretty simple to use, you just need the custom smart text widget, then you provide the text which holds for example at and then some text or hashtag and then some text or a URL. You can style or disable those elements. For each one of them you have different events that you can set, for example the on tag click method can be set for the hashtags so whenever you tap or click on a word that is marked with a hashtag then something happens or you can use the on open method for the urls and the on add click method for the keywords that are marked with a at symbol if you are wondering why this video came one week later I had technical problems with my computer which I have now fixed and I was not able to notify you about that. I could only post a comment into the discussion section which probably no one noticed and community posts are only for channels with at least I think 1000 subscribers. But maybe that's not too bad because it gave the released packages more time to prove themselves, especially those that came out towards the end of the week. But yeah, enough of that. More information about all packages can be found in the video description. If you have watched so far, thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.